What's up? It's Chris here from Sumo.com. In this video, I'm going to show you Sumo's new sexy user interface. So you'll see here when you come into Sumo, it's super clean now. There's a Sumo logo in the top left hand corner. Then you're going to see your dashboard at the very top. Um, here you're just going to be able to see your stats, all the emails you've collected, your conversion rate across your whole site here. And then you'll be able to filter by weekly, monthly, yearly, lifetime at the very top here. Um, you'll be able to go to forms. Um, or pages to see specific stats on forms or pages. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then when you scroll down, you can see your top pages. And also on the form page as well, you can actually see your top forms as well when you scroll down. So that's the forms and pages. Now if you go over to forms, this is where you can actually create forms. Um, so you just click on create new form, create any forms you want to capture email subscribers on your site. If you want to do any tests, like A-B testing any of your forms to see like if an image works better than not having an image, you'll just click on create new test and uh, do a test through that. Um, if you want to actually check in here on your stats, so if you want to like filter by week, last week, this month, um, if you want to click on emails, you can see like a little trend line here of your emails or views if you'd like to do reporting on that or if you'd like to download a CSV here, you can do that for the, uh, for the last seven days. Um, up here you've got email, so this is where you can actually create and send emails to your subscribers. Just click on create new campaign, select the subscribers you want to send to, super easy. Automations now, you can send an email automation by coming in here, clicking on create email automation, selecting the group and then you're going to have an email automation triggered for people in that group um, to send out either day by day or week by week or whatever delay settings you'd like to choose for your email automation. So real cool feature there. Monetize, you've got like your discounts, so any discounts you want to add, you'll just connect to Shopify or your WooCommerce store here, then you'll be able to create a discount, and your discounts will automatically sync with your form, with your forms. Um, so people, you can offer a discount on your form, then on the success tab, they're going to, the person's going to get a unique discount code um, to go and use in your store. Super cool feature there. Um, then we're going to go to shortcuts. This is where you can actually create a shortcut on your store to monetize people who come to your site. So this is especially um, important for people who have stores like Shopify or WooCommerce stores. Here you can actually create a reduced cart abandonment shortcut so when people go and leave your cart, they'll actually see a uh, pop-up that comes up when they try and leave the cart without buying for a discount and you'll be able to set that discount up. So it's really easy to do by creating this reduced cart abandonment shortcut. If you want to grow your email list, you just click on this. Um, it'll take you through the steps to quickly grow your email list. Um, increase average order value. This is going to actually show a bar at the very top of your page that entices people to spend a certain amount on your store to get a discount. So you might offer 10% for spending $100 and then if you want you can offer even more so you can do tiered discounts. If people spend $100 then you offer them a 20% discount for spending $150 and that's what the increase average order value shortcut can do. Then you've got your contacts here at the top. This is going to list out all the contacts inside your Sumo install. And then you're also going to have groups here. So you can create groups based on different people who are signing up for different forms. So if you have a cart abandonment form, you may want to create a group for everyone who's abandoned your cart. So you have them all in one group and you can contact them easily through the email feature later down the track. Um, and then here you've got extras. So you've got like share, image share, and Google Analytics. And you can go in and check these out, but share is just adding a share bar to your site to make it easier for people to share your content. Um, image share is putting share buttons on your images so you get um, more social sharing when people actually scroll over your images if you're making a lot of custom images on your site and Google Analytics is going to show you your analytics on your website when you're on it so you can quickly at a glance see it without having to log into your Google Analytics all the time so that's everything in the new Sumo user interface I hope you guys really enjoy it because um, this is like the biggest upgrade we've made in Sumo in about the last three years in terms of the user interface and it's super easy to use now every single feature inside Sumo and all the new features that are going to be coming out over the next few years.